guys must have forgot his uh, jersey because he's wearing his warm-up jacket. Yeah, I thought maybe he was uh, doing video or something for the, <laughs> the NHL or something. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's going to never hear the end of that he'll one. Get a, he'll get a fine off of that deal. Yep. But starting in goal for the Toledo Walleye is Jake Patterson, 21 years old, 6'1", 183. He's got a 2.84 goals against average in the seven games. And back again tonight, Spencer Martin wearing number 60. He's 20 years old, 6'3", 204. He's got 3.02 goals against average in the six starts. So both goaltenders pretty equal, as equal goes, as the goaltending yep. goes. Uh, both young men that uh, can make mistakes, but Spencer Martin's really been playing well. Uh, that was, whoa, that was Ooh. off the old face mask. But uh, as Toledo goes ahead and gets inside the Comet zone, getting it in there is Schwinard. Ooh, good take yep. of the body. There was uh, Weber. I like to see that a little bit more often. And it's going to be an icing yeah. Comet as we bring it all the way back down to the other end. As we uh, talked briefly about the referees uh, signed by the ECHL, Jesse Plesh, Sean Morgan, and referee Stephen Thompson. So it's either Sean, Mor yep. Sean Morgan or Jesse Plesh. Or where, well, it's got to be the, Jesse because I see a 71 out here. So that's, that's Sean. Okay. I'm sure it won't make, him make any difference during the... Uh, during the game, as, as Toledo dumps it in, these teams play a lot, a lot against each other and uh, know how each other plays. Yep. Getting it in the zone, trying to do it was Lark. And being attacked there again was uh, Kishersky. Ted Brown doing the com comments offside there. Well, and like you say, um, anytime these two teams play each other, you know, it's always a pretty tough game. You know, uh, a lot of uh, checking. Well, they know each other quite well, that's for sure. Oh, and, and it's also, here we go. Nice backhand. Nice backhand from uh, Sean Skelly. You know, not a lot of players will use their back end anymore. No, Skelly gets it behind the net, lays it off the boards, tries to center it, and hanging on to it is Jake Patterson. Yeah, Skelly, he's only, he's only playing a couple games for the Comets. He's got one goal, and not a not a huge kid, 5'9", 185, but he's got uh, some experience, 28. He's well, played he's that Southern hard, League yep. you know, quite a bit. Got out to the point. Comets out shooting uh, their opponent the other night, quite a, almost two to one, but still not able to penetrate the nets like they should. Well, like the old saying goes, it's not uh, how many shots you have, it's how many go in. And the other <laughs> night, it seemed every time we were yeah. making mistakes, Cincinnati was making us pay. Face off to the right of Patterson. Kita Kaczerski going in there for the face off as he's getting pretty anxious. Wanted to draw it back, looks like. Comets get possession. Mbach with it. Dumps it on the round. Mbach gets it back. Wants it back to the defense. Goaltender Martin has to pick it up. Well, I was getting ready to say they're getting a little risky there, but yep. they're apparently making it to go to tape to tape, so as long as they're connecting, I'm not going to complain too much. Well, I'm sure the coaches weren't too happy with Here we go. Right down the middle. Nice Weber, shot. Good, a nice shot. A lot of traffic in front, but uh, he got rid of it pretty quick. Here we go. Embach on the left wing. Or not Kaczerski dumps it in. As Commons go for complete change. Schmitz gets it back off to uh, Schwinnard. Schwinnard right up the middle. Spencer Martin's going to hang on to that one as we get a face off to his left. It should be. 
Doing good uh, tape to tape um, passes so far, which is really nice to see. Quick shot off the face off with Toledo as Southern tries to get it off the boards up to uh, Thompson. All the way around to the far side. Oh, point gets to the point. Hit a skate there. Yep. Kind of redirected into the corner. Oh, nice little nice move, move there. Garrett Thompson makes yep. a nice move and gets a good shot off as yep. Patterson's going to have to hang on to that one. Yeah, very smart uh, kind of spinning play. Kept the puck towards the boards and made the defenseman back up, but he, he knew he didn't have a good pass coming into the zone. He just put the puck at the net. Their goaltender hung on, no rebound. George Drysdale talks a lot of times about guys that don't use the boards like they could. They can almost pass it back to yep. themselves. And there you saw Thompson turning around and, and throwing it off the boards. We knew where it was going to go. Mm -hmm. and went there and got a good shot off. Comets out shooting the walleye 3-1 to one right now. Still early. Behind the net is uh, Shaftsma. Out to the point court, but gets a shot off a little wide. Nice oh, shot. that was a good yep. shot. Good puck movement. Corbett with it on the defense. Play right up the middle to Shasma. Held it a little bit too long there, just on the on the blue line there. Dumping it in was uh, Sakura. Beaupre trying to just get it outside the the blue line. 16-12 to go in period one. Still no score. Pretty even up and down. He'll be in the corner. Corbett just moves around to the far side. Comes off the stanchion. That's outside. Yep. Anyway, they got clear of the pond. 15.43 to go. Comets go for partial change as Toledo just dumps it in. And they, it's waved off. No icing. It's the Toledo dumped it all the way around. In the zone. On the far side. Good puck movement. Amonic, oh, off the skate of the Toledo player. And nice backhand as he gets it inside the zone. Thought they were going to get it stopped there for a moment. Hominick right there, in the, right in front of the Toledo bench. As it's cleared around. Chipped in the yep. zone. Getting another line change. Good shift by that line. To those setting up behind their own net. Hope you like Otto Boucher's uh, camera work tonight. He's got a new camera. Second time. Nice job there. Thomas just, oh, nice move. Gets it to Thompson. Controls it in the corner. Both corners. Trying to anyway. Toledo gets it. Frees it up the middle. Southern get, gets around Southern. Southern takes a body. Good job. Nice, nice hit. check. Nice check. Southern goes back and picks it up. 14.07 to go. He chips it in. Thomas go for a change. Good end-to-end -end action by both teams. It's still inside the zone. Skelly after it. Gets it back behind, from behind the net. Beaupre with it. Oh, Beaupre trying to yep. hold on to it just a little too long. Spencer has it. Slows it down a little bit. On the near side is Skelly. Skelly just dumps it in, yep. puts it on net. Wise thing to do. Got a little bit high. A goaltender had to hang on to it. Can you hear me now? 
Yeah, you know, like you said, Doug, up and down, nothing uh, real exciting. Got a couple opportunities by the Comets. They're out shooting five yep. to one, but been pretty even so far. Well, and, and we're keeping the puck down low in the corner, and we're cycling it, and, and you can hear them talking all the way up here. So, coaching staff's got to be happy with what they've seen so far. First block after it. First block with uh, five goals. So he's the one to be paying attention to. Yep. And Bach for checking. Not pursuing the goal. The uh, man with the puck behind the net. Jenks touches it and gives it right back. Well, that's onside. Yep. Weber with it, taking the body on the far side. You know, Jenks is it. one of those players where you got to keep your eye oh, on him. Oh, yeah. He's pretty shifty, isn't he? You know, and pretty experienced veteran. He'll suck you into some bad penalties as well. Not with the same scoring cut touch, but like nope. a Dave McCulloch had once uh, yep. with the old uh, Muskegon uh, Lumberjacks. Ooh, not able to get it. Got it back. There we go. Over the blue line. Perlini gets a center. Nice shot. Thomas, oh, right in front. Can we get a shot off here, guy? Kept it, in, kept it active. Yep. Here comes the penalty. Oh, right down the middle. Nice well, you gotta go for that. Got to go for that yep. side, you know. It was a Good quick puck release. Movement. Quick release. And Thomas's speed again just caused that penalty because he's flying by and the guy just had to grab him or he was going to be gone. So now we have a chance in the power play. Bo Schmitz going to the box for a holding penalty. Schmitz played in the American Hockey League last year. That's yep. pretty good. Shasma comments on the power play. Off after it, Skelly. All, all the way, way back, back down, and yep. get set up, and Toledo's going for complete change. So it's quite a bit about your effort, doesn't it, Doug, when you got a guy like Skelly's on the power play. Yep. Ooh, nice slices there by Schwinnard. Corbett gets it. Just backs it off to Aberja. You know, Toledo's got a good, solid penalty kill. They really stand you up. The Shearsky now Berger in the, in, the, in the corner there. Yep. Goes all the way down. Got a minute left. You know, they, they don't give you a whole lot of room or time to get things set up, so... Perlini gets it inside. Thompson, oh, not enough. Thomas had to regroup. They got 45 yep. seconds to go. He had the right idea, but. Southern with it on the near side. Perlini just dumps it in. Far side goes all the way around. Oh, no one home. Weak shot yep. off that went up into the netting, apparently. Well, that's one thing Toledo tries forcing you to do is dump it in and how they got their defense going. When you dump it in, they got a guy going along the boards. And all he does is just shoot it back to his defenseman because we got everyone pursuing the puck. All they do is wrap it around and, you know, if, if we get control of it, we're going to catch him out of position. But Yeah, you really saw it that last play as you were talking about. They were really lined up with the blue yep. line and, and stand up pretty tall. Oh, that's going to be up in the netting. Shot by Leone. Must have been deflected. Is it yep. going to be a face off to the right of Spencer Martin? And for the face off, Zombo. 
Here's Lark. Nice little chip shot. That's that's a good yep. move. Got to beat him in the gotta, puck, though. Got to get someone in there helping him, though. Off the glass and out. Corbett wanted to yell uh, for the two-minute delay, yeah. I think, there. You can always ask for it. <laughs> yeah. A lot like other things we yeah. could ask for and never get, so I guess. So. You know, but Lark made a great play on getting the puck in, but that's where you need to have an extra man really fighting to get in there as well because Toledo had numbers, and, you know, yeah. he tied up his man, but they tied everything up, and they, they had the extra guy come in. One second left on the penalty. Good shot. And again, puck out of play. Yep. Off our stick, so we'll come outside the blue line. You're right. It's outside. TV timeout. I don't know if I've seen Saul yet out here, uh, Doug. I know he's dressed, but no, I don't think he's he's been out. You know, and that's one thing that uh, we'll see with some of these guys, you know, when they kind of go through that adversity of, you know, being in and out of the lineup, you know, one or two things are going to happen. Either they really buckle down and start busting their butt, or, you know, they're in and out all the time. Yeah. They could uh, be traded. Sure. You know, because you don't want someone that might not have the greatest attitude, and, you know, you don't want them to be happy that they're sitting out. But you also don't want it to be toxic in the locker room as well. You know, and, and as we've seen two years ago, you know, Gary and uh, David, they're not afraid to make some changes if, if something's not right for in the locker room. Uh, you know, regardless how good of a player they are. Yeah, they had that one guy who was like one of the better players in the league, was on the all-star team, something yep. they got rid of. And now you would never hear about old Mickey Lang. There, Nicky Lang, that's Nicky right. Nicky Lang, yep. yep. He kind of burned his way out of Orlando as well. Well, kind of got what you asked for, I yep. guess. Not getting in deep enough is picking up his Toledo. Good hit. Nice hit. Holy mackerel. You know, Kyle Thomas is really making his paycheck work. Yep. Thomas with a nice check there. High off the uh, <laughs> plexiglass. Schwinard taking the yep. shot. Nice, nice job by Martin right there. Nice save as he pops uh, Hirschfeld in the behind there. He oh. has to watch Hirschfeld. Hirschfeld's got eight oh. goals so far. He's, yep. he's one that's very dangerous out there. Well, like going back to Kyle Thomas, I mean, he didn't play the first few games. The other perfect example, he, you know, he. Kind of didn't hang his head. He just kept working hard, and ever since he's been in the lineup, uh, he's making it tough for him to take him out. Oh, absolutely. Just like uh, Skelly. I mean, he's yep. playing so well that he's uh, might be earning himself a permanent job. You just never know. E exactly. Got to get it in there deeper. Well, they had Leonard scratched upstairs, and Leonard's playing. So hmm. Leonard was just right there uh, dumping the puck in. 21. He goes off the off to the bench. Carson, I can't trust my guys upstairs. Who can I trust? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I always got you, Otto. I we'll know. have to talk to Mr. Orn up there. Yes. I don't think he's up there tonight. That might be the well, problem. <laughs> off the boards, there's the nice little bump yep. I'm talking about off the boards to Shaftma. Yeah, didn't have a direct pass, just put it off nope. the boards. And... Nice play there. Oh, pray in the corner. Yep. Nice off the. Oh, Corbett trying to. <laughs> Don't want to do that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice backhand. Yep, if you don't get, it, get it out of there. The old Terry Pembroke special. 
Wayne Bishop, 29. when I played, was Wayne Bishop. Oh, is he that big on the backhands out of the oh, zone? Oh, flip he? passes, you know. Except he flipped a lot up into the stands, too. The, so many that Ron Ellie was threatening to find him $5 for every puck he <laughs> shot up. Gee, does that surprise me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh. Yeah. Yo, Wayne, Wayne would have been one of those guys that uh, would have been hitting the scoreboard on a regular basis. He flipped it so high. I liked Wayne. He's, he's always pretty nice to me. I yep. always, whoa, Ooh, boy, there's a the close one. Yeah. So they're making some uh, some attempt here. Well, Toledo knows what the tendencies that we like to do, and that time uh, Corbett didn't look behind him. There's a good move there. Oh, oh they're on side. Oh, oh, Thomas, nice shot. A little wide. A lot of traffic in front. You know, and Toledo is going, knows we like to reverse the play a lot, throw it back around the boards. Their guy was waiting right on the boards, intercepted it behind the net, and almost turned into a scoring chance. Yeah, Wayne Bishop is up in the Toronto area working for the electric company up there now for years. Oh, Wayne. One of my partners in crime. <laughs> Oh, yes. The 80s. Here we go. And back in the corner, good. On the far side. A little close in there. Sharsky going yep. after it in the corner. Yeah, this good game job is there. The battles have been pretty intense down in the corners. He's going to hang on to yep. that one. Nothing enough to get a face off. And 7.02 to go in period one. Comets out shooting Toledo 8-1. to one. A lot of deflections, though. So Toledo's yeah. had some shots, but a lot of deflections. Nothing really that Spencer really had to work on. But uh, Well, and we've had a lot more shots at eight as well. Toledo is a type of team that really gets into the passing and shooting lanes, and the Comets are doing a better job than they are tonight on that. Well, so far, nothing to nothing, but I'm not disappointed what I'm seeing. I feel like they're being uh, pretty competitive yep, out there. Playing very smart. Ah, couldn't gain control of it there was uh, Skelly. I don't like that. <laughs> Corbett with it now. Calm it down, calm yep. down. Just skate it out. As long as you got it, they don't. Here's Skelly. Nice move there. Oh, nice bounce. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, right there behind. Had, had the goaltender. Oh, right there. Good try. Good try. Yep. Good effort. Good play on Shasmus part. Yeah. Boy, Skelly had him going the wrong direction. Yep. And uh, they had the goaltender going the wrong direction. I thought he might be able to come in around and go to the back door, but uh, not able to do so. Chas, we got to try to jam it in there anyway. But yeah, that, this line has played very well tonight. And, you know, they're putting a lot of pressure on them, intercepting a lot of passes. Thompson after it. Toledo in the zone. Just backhanded around there was uh, Hirschfeld as it comes all the way out to the neutral zone. Schwinar gets it up to left wing. Hirschfeld can't control it. Schwinar gets it back. He just chips it in. Yep, Boy, going for that bounce. Yep. yep. Hammond, that goes to the far side. Try to get it with Jenks as he hustles back and gets it and bounces it off to Schwinard. Comets get it again. Get possession of it. Out to the point, trying to. Oh, yeah, good shot yep. to, on that. Thompson's playing very well in front of the net. And Here's Southern. Oh, Thompas is yep. done. He's gets yep. money to get off. 5.27 to go. Still no score. Thanksgiving Jenks. weekend. 
Camels wanting to redeem themselves after the other night on uh, Thanksgiving night. There we go. In the far side, we got three in the pond. <laughs> oh. oh. Can we keep it in? Yes, we do. Leonard kept it in. I'll tell you what, Doug, they're putting some pressure. Yeah. Out to the point. Weber got a nice shot off. Yep, nice. Goaltender had to shot. stop it. Yeah. Schwinard with it. Just dumps out to Jenks. Ooh. Good take of the body. Kaszewski with it off the boards. Ah, just out of the reach there of Embach. As Toledo's inside the zone. He's going to hit there from Leonard. Thomas Skelly gets it yep. out to the wing. Get it over. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. I thought he I, had him. I thought he did, too. Fake me out. Yes. Good thing I'm a defenseman. Oh. Oh, Shasma yeah. doing a good job on Freiburg's. Knocks him down. That's all right. Oh, nice move there by Corbett. Dangling. Oh, oh, just about let her go. Yep. Skelly again got a nice shot off there, Doug. Ooh. Yep. Goaltender kind of misjudged it a little bit. Here we go, right behind. Shasta couldn't control it. And the Comets will get yep. possession of it again as they bring get, it out. Get some fresh players yeah. out there. Nice. Oh, he, Here's Thomas. Look, I got the wheels. Nice shot. But you know, I want to see Thomas go at the net. I, you know, he went past the net. There I want to see him go at the net, though. Yep. You know? Well, Until you hear the whistle. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 especially with a goalie thing. this big, you need to be driving. Yeah, he's the net bobbled too. already a couple times. You know, he's been real solid on his stick side, but so you want to get him off that post a little bit. And I'd say Thomas didn't do a heck of a job yep. moving in on the, on, the, on the net there. But, I mean, if he could have just hit the brakes and put the pressure on the goaltender because you never know, he could drop it and it might be available. Ah. Good hand-eye coordination good. there. Hammond gets it now. Thomas getting it again. On sides. Oh, ah, don't force it. Not don't there. force it. Hemlock off the boards. No icing. Thomas with it inside the zone. Thompson, I should say. Thompson. Oh. Ah. Toledo with it. Nice block by Thomas. <laughs> Two Again. of them. Jeez. Skate save and a beauty. <laughs> Definitely need to get the puck yeah. in deep. Thomas got tripped up behind the play, and the fan, uh, Comet fans were trying to call that one. So far, I think we've only had one penalty tonight. Uh, the Comets were on the power play for that one. Toledo gets it in the zone. Beaupre with it. Following through. Wow. Yes. Working them over. Yeah, I got to get two hands on that stick so you don't get uh, get the penalty. Nice job. Spencer Martin gets it straight up in the air. Beaupre in the corner. Corbett trying to deflect it in front. Big high one. Too many men. No, yeah, maybe not. Because he was off quick enough. 104 to go in the period. Southern with it.
Oh, come on. They're yeah. going to call that icing. All the way back down, 13 to 1 on the shot clock, Doug. Yep. I tell you, that, that impresses me. That last big onslaught they had there with Thomas down in there was pretty, yep. was pretty impressive. Got some good shots there. Well, they just gave uh, Toledo two more shots up on the shot clock, so it's 13 3, but again. Oh, I guess you're right there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, we're, we're not giving them good quality shots. And when they have got a shot, you know, Martin's right on it. Now, Thomas got a couple blocked there. Here's Skelly getting inside the zone. Shastman playing very well down low. Yep. Got Perlini out there with him. 33 seconds to go. Southern with him. Good enough for one, uh, one more rush up the ice. It's inside the zone. Southern has it. Keep it in deep. Oh, right almost there. Through. Almost oh. through. Skelly was right there. 12 yep. seconds to go. Over the line, Ooh. taking it in. Zombo goes to the net. And Southern not too happy about it. Again, like what you talked about earlier with Thomas, that's what we want our guys to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Drive to the net. Exactly. If the defenseman's still right on him, give the goalie a little tap. You know, just let him know that you're going to be there every day. Well, as I said before, Eddie Long called me and said he's back in the good health now and we'll be pulling him in here when you're on vacation or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Eddie's got that enthusiasm for an 80-some-year-old man, former he's hockey amazing. player. And, and he still has that enthusiasm. But that's the stuff that Eddie is always tell, telling me yep. about. Yep. Back when I played for him in the, in the Pepsi Common days and stuff, you know, never stop to hear the yep. whistle and go to the net and make that goaltender bobble a little bit. Exactly. Because you never know when something might happen where uh, unusual. Well, and the other thing is it also will bug a lot of goaltenders when